Happy Tuesday surprise. Well, I got a good surprise today. Very pleasant one. I got a text this afternoon when I was at the VTH. Hey, B, you might enjoy this. And there were three winks. See, Jabba, this is how I get to see you. I'll share this one with you. The other two you can check out for yourself. I guess Java had a little problem with me, uh, you know, talking about my GTO and Z28 models, you know, the work I had someone do to it. And uh, the other two links, unless he's been spending all day again here on YouTube, rather than looking for an apartment, he really desperately is going to need in a few weeks when he has to be in court. I'll get to that tomorrow. You know, showing some models. And I kind of know the difference between models that, you know, plastic model kits, AMT, Ravel monogram. You know, you can do some detailing in them, but they will never come close to the detailing you get in a die cast. While the manufactured kits, uh, some are made in plastic, but they have so much detailing that you don't get that in a model kit that you assemble. You know, doors opening, trunk lids opening. I've seen some that you turn the steering wheel and the fucking front wheels turn left and right. Spare tire in the trunk. You know, hey, to me, they look like store-bought die casts. But if he says he made them, okay, he made them. Now, I'm going to let this play through in its entirety. And uh, I'll save my Uncle Brian reacts for the end. And one other thing, you know, the title I have hit 3,000 watch hours Plato. I think he meant to say plateau, which you will hear him say plateau, but I guess he doesn't know how to spell plateau, so he spelt it Plato. You know, when I saw that Plato, it made me think of something. I hear Plato, I think of the ancient Greek philosopher. I think of Plato as in Dana Plato, that was that white girl on that show, Different Strokes. They had her two adopted black brothers, Arnold and Willis. You know, when that show ended, they all got fucked up, man. I know Arnold, Gary Coleman, he ended up working as a security guard in the mall and got arrested for getting into an argument with a fat lady and kicked her in the leg or some shit, you know? Uh, Todd Bridges, Willis, he got into guns and drugs and went to jail for a while. Dana Plato couldn't get an acting gig. She started doing porn flicks, got fucked up on drugs, and died of a drug overdose. But on that show, remember, and Gary Coleman, Arnold would always say, What you talking about, Willis? Well, hey, Jabba. What you talking about, Jabba? And before I get started, one little suggestion. Jabba, you might want to consider maybe changing your camera angle. You seem to like to have it under your face looking up at you. And maybe you didn't realize, like in this video, you got a snot hanging out of one of your nostrils. Hey, I'm just offering some constructive criticism here. Anyway, watch this and enjoy it for yourself. I'll save my Uncle Brian reacts for the end. Whoop. Come on. Hello, everybody. It's Rich from Rich's Garage. And I just want to thank everybody for all the subscribers. And uh, apparently I've hit a plateau of 3,000 watch hours. I woke up this morning and i seen some new things open. So um, once I get to figuring out who I'm going to have make the shirts and stuff like that and stickers... Uh, those will be available, and there will be memberships for people uh, that want a little more in-depth look at things. Um, as far as me working on the cars are concerned and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> keep them coming, keep subscribing, and keep liking them videos. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye. See you in the next one. Okay, there you have it. You know, he woke up today. I don't know what he's done since. You know, the two, you know, models he built. And uh, and this, you know, bragging on how he got 3,000 watch hours and hit a new Plato. Uh, I mentioned the snot, right? Okay. I want to make sure I cover all the bases here. You know, you know, he's not concerned with, you know, a court date coming up in a few weeks. So. <laughs> he's not concerned about spending this time looking for an apartment he is really going to need. 
you know. But he's concerned with YouTube. Oh, I guess now he's going to start a business venture. Selling t-shirts and stickers. Okay. You know, that takes some money to get it off the ground. You have to have an inventory. you got to purchase the blank t-shirts in whatever color you want. you got to pay someone to print your logo on it. Stickers, you need to purchase the material. Vinyl, plastic, paper. you got to pay someone to print your logo on it. And that's because he's such a great businessman, he's going to cut out the middleman and to increase his profits, he'll just waddle around there and go through piles of all his, all his junk. And he'll find some old t-shirts he's got laying around. And because he's real good at painting things, he'll paint his own logo on the t-shirts. He'll take some duct tape or masking tape, cut out the stickers, paint his logo on the stickers. Uh, he's going to start a fans only. That's what it's called, fans only. I remember I heard Java had one one time. Some people have it. No, not many people want to be paying like nineteen ninety nine a month, you know, to watch private videos, you know what I mean? So like, why? I heard Java uh, sample. I knew a guy, he actually said, Brian, I signed up just to see what was going on. He only like six people. And what Sanford was doing was talking a lot of trash and shit about people. Not really much to do with cars. All this shit he doesn't like about you and other people, Brian, he goes off on fucking hostile rants on his fans only because he doesn't want to tarnish his image on his regular channel to look like a ranting, raving lunatic, which he really is behind the scenes. Like I've told you, I know people that have been there. They've been around him when he's working. <laughs> he's one big walking clusterfuck with cars too. Anyway, he abandoned his fans only the way he abandons all his projects, you know. So I guess Java feels he has enough of a fan base that, you know, he'll be able to make some money off this. People are willing to pay to watch him do. I got a kick out of it when he said more in-depth work on his car. Well, as of now, you're not doing any work on your car. But hey, he says, if you're willing to pay, you'll do more in-depth work. Maybe, maybe you'll finally get that Rear brake drum off that has three studs on it, spray painted black. Maybe in-depth work means he'd be able to get it off and put two more studs on the wheel. Is that what he means by in-depth work? People are willing to pay to watch that anyway, anyway, anyway. There are a few things I'll get into tomorrow like I had heard. Like I say, man, he's his own worst enemy. Every time he opens his mouth, he does shit like this, you know what I mean? Uh... But he said he's got a court date coming up early August in a few weeks. Gee, I wonder what that could be about. Hmm. You know, rather than be looking for an apartment, this is what he's doing. You know, patting himself on the back for getting 3,000 view hours, promoting his new business venture, selling shirts and stickers, starting up a fans-only site for a pay-per-view, showing off models, he says he made. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing those. There were two, unless he's unless he's showing more. You know what I mean? Or showing maybe a GI Joe, or maybe showing off his boom boxes again, his Hot Wheels cars, comic books, eight tracks, CDs. You know all his other stuff he's been hoarding. Maybe girl bicycles, the ones that maybe might not have. To, I mean, you, have, you leave bikes out in the yard like that for years. It rains, they're going to fucking rust. Maybe he's got one there that's not rusted. He'll be able to show it off. What do you think about that? Anyway, I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. I'd give you the pleasure of watching what I just watched. I hope you enjoyed it. And I gave Jabba some help. Like, you know, at one time he wanted to sue me for doing this. Now he's thanking me. So once again, Jabba, you are very welcome.